Hello and welcome to another session on IT and Automation Academy. Today we are going to discuss about new chapter. My name is Noman and you are watching IT and Automation Academy's YouTube channel. What we are going to talk about today, there are three things we are going to discuss. First of all, we will be talking about what is NO and NC contact. And then we will be talking about how we can connect NO and NC type of momentary push button to our PLC. And the third point we are going to discuss in today's class will be how to program NC and NO type of momentary push button. Before starting today's class, I request you if you haven't watched our first and second session, it's highly recommended go back and first watch these two sessions and then come up here. Now we will be talking about NO and NC type of momentary push button. NO type of momentary push button look like this and NC type of momentary push button look like this. What is NO type of momentary push button? In NO, in normal condition, we have an open circuit. So whatever the device, whatever the final element is connected with that particular push button, for example, if it is a light, in normal condition, light would be turned off because that circuit is open in normal condition. Normally open mean normally there is no current passing through it. So when we will press that button, after pressing that, we will have that connection complete or you can say that circuit complete and the, and the associated device will be turned on for example in our case it is light so light will be on now in nc type of a push button we have different scenario in nc it is a normally closed contact or you can say it's a normally closed in normally closed type of push button what happen in normal condition whatever the final element for example in our case it's a light so in normal condition when we don't press the button light will be on but when we will press the button that will open up that circuit so that circle will be open in when we will be pressing that push button so the associated light will be turned off so i will repeat this scenario again in normally closed type of momentary push button when we haven't pressed it it's normally closed that means in normal condition our circuit is complete and the associated final element like in our case it's light will be turned on in normal condition so when you, we will press this button it will open up the circuit and the associated light with that will be off because our circuit will be open when we will press the button so that's how normally open and normally close contact work now is the time to talk about little more about that so we have one normally open and normally close type of push button so we are going to make a wiring connection between no and nc type of momentary push button with our plc first of all so first of all for normally open contact we are going to make a wiring connection what we will do from the plc power supply one one wire is coming in to the normally open push button the green color you can see here so we will make a wiring connection like this so another end of that push button will be connected to plc input so what will happen in normally open condition as we talk about that in detail when, when nobody press the button this circuit is open so in normal condition there will be no current passing through it so that's why there will be no input going to the plc and there would be no activity at the final control element if it is light that will be off then we will press it for sure you know that it's normally open when we will press this push button it will close the circuit we will have an input at the input of a plc similar fashion we will be making a wiring connection for normally close contact so what we will be doing it same way a power supply is coming in 24 volt coming from the cpu and the another end of that is going to be connected to input card of a plc so that's just a simple wiring connection so this is a no type of momentary push button one wire is coming from the output of this push button to our input card channel number one right here and from another nc type of push button this wire you might see is coming in from there to this particular channel number two you might be wondering how we are providing negative supply for these inputs input one and two and respectively other inputs what we have here you might see this is l positive so this is a positive and m is negative and we have a jumper you might see here why we are using this jumper we are providing this common negative to all channels from there if you see here the marking here you might notice that m this m 
and this m is connected to the jumper from here on we have a common negative for all the channels we are providing common negative to all channels from there on and these are actually internally connected for more understanding all we have to do is we have to go for the programming because program will clear your all doubts and you will see the real-time simulations for that you have to just stay connected and keep on watching now we are going to program our plc project before starting actual program i want to show you there on the top bar if you can see normally open and normally close contacts there remember we have to make sure whatever we have actually in the hardware like for example if we have a push button from the field and it can be also normally open and normally close contact you have already understanding of that particular thing because i showed you how actually normally open and normally close push buttons are and how it works now assume we have a normally open contact with the field and we are going to program a very simple project like when we will press a push button light will turn on as this is a momentary push button when we will just remove our hand from there it's a momentary so momentary mean that at, at the instant you push the button there will be only pulse and when you are going to remove your hand from there the output will go off we are going to just practice a small project here just for understanding so that you have an idea about that so let's go and program a simple project we are taking a normally open contract from there for sure we have to select an input here and we are selecting i 0.0, .0 coming from the input of the plc q 0.0, .0 is our output and this i 0.0, .0 is actually coming from where it's a push button right remember we discuss about normally open momentary type of push button so we are connected through that to that our to our output so and our output is a light which you have already seen we will definitely show you simulation so that you will have an idea about that so um, now our program is ready we are going to just download in our plc so that you can have a look about that after this program, we will also program for NC contact so that you have an idea what's going on from the field point of view and what is exactly in a programming interface. Remember as it's a pulse just for a few milliseconds, so it's, it will be impossible for us to see that output in a simulator. You can only see in a light, like you have a physical interface there, like if you, if you will visualize the light at that point, you can only see that output, you can't see it here. So we are going to download our program into the PLC. You know, if you haven't watched our last video, then it might not make any sense for you to watch this video. I highly recommend you if you haven't watched our first and second video go and watch first and first go and watch first and second video and then come up here now we are going to just download this project into the plc now just click just click on load it's just gonna take some moments more and then you can now write your program into the plc here we go so we our program is already downloaded into the plc it's a time to show you the actual set up uh, from the hardware point of view first and then we will talk about the software so uh, this is i0.0 .0, you can see here so this is our input and this is our output this light indication is our output this is our input so now we will press input and you will see that output will be on for a few milliseconds you can see now we have a momentary push button green light green color momentary push button by momentary we mean this will just give a momentary kind of an input this will just give a pulse to the input of a plc for millisecond only this input will be high and that shows when we will press this i 0, 0.0 just for a few moment just for just for that particular moment we will have our output high and if in the case you want to see that from the program point of view it would be very very much difficult for you to recognize that whether it was on and off whether it was on or not so it's very much and it should be very much clear if you want to visualize it you can only visualize it by its actual hardware maybe it would be very difficult for you to see from the simulator or from the simulation or from the online simulation view so now we are going to press this i 0.0, .0 green momentary push button you can see after that how it it works so we are going to press this i 0.0, .0 
you will see that output is output was on for a second just for that moment so if you will press it for for example for a long time you will see it will be on so this is momentary momentary is just for that moment so you press it you will have an output so now same same thing you can see from the program itself when we are pressing from the field we are actually pressing from the field now we are having output at that time just for that moment so that's how it works when we talk about normally open contact when we have a normally open momentary type of push push button in the field and we have configured the same thing here now we are going to play with normally close contact if we have a normally close contact in the field and we are using the same program how it is going to work in that scenario so now we are going to change our input from i0.0 .0 to i0.1 no, remember i0.1 is coming from normally close momentary type of push button which you have seen that is in red color in our actual hardware so now our program is ready so once we will have a normally close contact in the field then how it's going to work we are going to show you now just download this program similar way that you have done earlier We will we will do this process a little fast so that you so that we don't waste any time. Just going to online. Now we are connected to this red button. In because this is normally close contact. This is because this is normally close type of momentary push button. So in normal condition we will have an output here. You can see here. This output is always on. And you can see from the here from the indication here q0.0 is also on and our i0.1 is also on from the from the plc point of view so you when we will press this button you will see our output will be off and this light will turn off we are going to press this red button now you see that when you are pressing it because it's normally closed in normal normally closed mean in normal condition the circuit is closed and when you will press it it will open it when you will open it it will it will disturb the flow of the it will disturb the flow of the current from there and you will definitely have your output low and your light will be your light will be off in that condition so now uh, we have program in a way that we have actual that we have actual normally close contact in the field and we are progging, programming that one in normally open condition in our program now we will do this similar project in a way we have nc here and we have also nc into the programming side so that would be a bit different let's do it now we are going to take normally close contact here from the programming point of view you know that we have on the top bar normally close contact we are placing it into the programming and we are just giving nc we are going to just select here i0.0 sorry we are going to select i0.1 which is coming from, from the red push button and which is actually normally close type of momentary push button so now we are going to download that program and we'll show you how it works So now you can see here I0.1 which is red button it is norm it is momentary so we haven't pushed it so when we program it in a way that we have taken normally close contact there even into the PLC normally close contact means that whatever will be there it will be reverted it will be it will be opposite of that for example if we have a one true conditions from hardware point of view then it would be there it would be reverted to zero so similar manner you can see that we don't have any output in that condition so when we are going to press this button you should have an output here i will show you so we will press this button you will see that because what now what happened it, it is normally close contact so when we will press this it will make that particular input to the plc in a low zero so that means zero will go to the plc input card and programming because we have taken normally close contact in the programming so that that programming uh, normally close contact will change that zero to one for sure that circuit will be 
that circuit will be closed and we will have an output i hope you like today's video if you haven't subscribed our youtube channel consider subscribing because your subscription your likes your comments means a lot for us this is actually a motivation for us to make more content thanks for watching this video till next video take care and allah hafiz